Hey, Morena. Hi. What's up? Um, so, tell me, is there something I can help you with about the topics, English in general? English in general, in general, well, in my case, I need to start, I need to learn more vocabulary. And, mm -hmm. but uh, we are talking about the vocabulary in it, and I think it's really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, my problem in this case, I think, is with the platform. But okay. Because we uh, the last week I had um, a little problem <laughs> with some, no, just for only two, I think, with two mm -hmm. uh, orations. Sentences? Sentences. Mm -hmm. Two sentences. And but I don't know what is the what is the wrong because uh is just like the same than another uh, mm -hmm. sentence. Okay, sure. Let me help you with that. Um let me remind you though that there were some some things had to be fixed on the platform and they were fixed already. So sure, if you can tell me, because I am checking here your your thing, Morena, you got 96% of your homework. This is as the last 96% in homework one, 98% in homework two, and so far you got 75 on the 75% completed mm -hmm. on the on the midterm. So where is that you need help? Homework one, homework two, or the midterm? Mm, I think in you that don't know. <laughs> All of them? Okay, so let's uh, let's I go ahead and attack it. Okay. Let let's go ahead and attack see. the first one and I'll tell you what the problem is. I I I need to open that one and I don't remember mm -hmm. in what part was let me see uh, no. the first one is in 1.5 right let me go there and this is going to be homework 1.5 homework yes okay going there which one the in particular num particular number 3 a friend said offers that are too good to be true maybe a scam okay. and i write and I, I wrote, wrote. Mm -hmm. and i wrote a friend said offers that were too good to be true Maybe a scam. Okay, give me a second. And I try to write with uh, different forms, and I mm -hmm. it would it would be wrong. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and double check. You you're supposed to have because uh, you read it. Do you have the third person? Uh, I'm sorry, the plural. A friend said mm -hmm. offers. Uh, Yes, offers with S. Uh huh. That where? That where? W E R E. W E R E. Two. Uh -huh. E O O. Uh huh. Good to be true. T R U E. T R U E. Maybe. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I think that's that's where the problem might be. The past of May is might. M I G H T. M I G H T. Might be a scum. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you write the period. Uh, yes, actually, mm -hmm. it's. That was my wrong might. Okay. I really didn't didn't know. 
no, no, Isn't no worries. That's what I'm here for, to help you out. Now that you know that the past of May is might. Yes, the past of May is mine. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other one? Well, I know that you that you have more, so tell me the next yes, one. Yes, the next one. The next one, I don't know why, because it is in other part in, and is in it in in one part it's okay and another it's okay which one is it so i can look for it what a homework or a task let me find it uh, it's slowly my internet <laughs> no worries no now, while it loads i'm gonna tell you the following if you have questions uh text me either to the group or to my personal whatsapp so you can send me pictures showing obviously which is the part that you're having issues like for example homework 1.5 part 3 exercise 2 and send okay. me a picture of the problem so i can tell you oh i see that you did may and it's supposed to be mike for example no worries oh, okay. it doesn't really have to be here i'm here to help you so you can complete the platform it's okay mm -hmm. um... Let me see. Don't worry, take your time. And if it doesn't load right now, like I said, um, be confident enough to send me a, um, a personal message. It might, it's like, okay. as I always mention, it might take me a while to answer, might not be immediately especially after 5 30 6 p.m i don't answer because i have classes right okay mm -hmm. but um i want to welcome you to send me messages with it with Excellent. exactly which ones are the ones that you need help and i'll be glad to help you it's a great teacher mm -hmm. all right morena so um you got a few a few seconds any anything yes, else any questions don't worry and uh, no I think it's all for the platform, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So uh, thank you very thank much you. for your participation and dedication. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, Alison, what's up? Hey, teacher. Thank you very much for coming. Tell me, what can I do for you? Well, um, I guess that my, my questions are, uh, the first one is to continue on the next model, actual, and they tell me that for the moment is just we are working if they went from eight to ten so i don't know if you are able to tell me if in sometimes mm -hmm. it's a possibility to change the schedules or make another one now to be honest with you alison that's um that's a topic that i don't really handle Right. Remember that the the courses are at the groups are open based on uh, demand. So um, with that, if you okay. want, I can send a request. I can let them know. 
so they can contact you and, and see if there's any other option for the schedule. Would that, would that be okay with you? Yes, thank you. Because uh, for me, um, I can connect in the, in the, within the week, but sometimes I have to make some things for work. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a little difficult for me. So you, might, so you might be interested in six to eight. Is that the one you mentioned before? Because you were breaking up. Yeah, I'm interested in that one too, but some Um, if you can hear me, you are frozen. I can't hear you right now. Hello? Do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. There's a okay. right now. So, what are you saying? Yeah, I'm interested in that other schedule, but it's even more difficult to me to get connected at that time. So, what's the schedule would... you're looking for? I don't know if we, the all the things uh, returning to the normality. That if you and uh, as insofar are going to um, activate. Activate. Yeah, to activate the presential courses. The on-site. Uh, on, yeah, on weekends. Mm, okay. And. Uh, another um, of my question is, uh, in this case, have you seen my process? Your progress. Your pro my progress. Definitely, yeah. I have mm. it right here. What do you want to know about it? Mm, so I just I'm sometimes uh, get a little confused with the things, okay. but I don't know if I'm doing okay or. Or if you want to recommend me, uh, for example, some things that I need to get better. To improve. Yeah, to improve. Oh, okay. So you're not talking about the progress on the platform. You're talking about your progress. Yep. Yeah, because uh, in the platforms, it only allows the right answers. Mm -hmm. That's right. So... Well, to be honest with you, I am very satisfied with your with your performance. You're always logging in on time. You're always participating. Sometimes there are a couple of uh, grammar mistakes and vocabulary. Okay. okay? But okay. I consider, Alison, that you are very fluent and that the only thing that I would recommend you is get exposed to the language so you can practice more. Yeah. Okay? That's what I tell people. Only making mistakes, you're going to realize what are your areas of opportunity. If I'm not mis if I if I'm not uh, wrong, I think that sometimes I correct you with past. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know if it has something to do that. Uh, always that, for example, when I make the the level test, mm -hmm. it sends me to a uh, for example, to this level, but I haven't seen the first levels. So that's mm -hmm. why um, my grammar is not that good. Okay. Now, with past, what I can recommend you is for you to tell stories in the past to yourself or record okay. yourself. Hey, you know what? I remember that yesterday I went to the movie theater. I had a great time with my friends. We saw... The movie was about, and uh, try to pay attention when you play the audio, that every single verb is in past. Okay. Okay, that's for the past tense. Now, yeah. what I mentioned to you, vocabulary is very important, that you have to memorize at least seven new words per day. No excuses, no questions okay. asked, vocabulary, because the structure is easy, subject, verb, and complement okay that's it well, oh but you have auxiliaries you have negatives yes but if you don't have vocabulary you don't know what to write or to produce yeah i guess mm -hmm. that's like the most difficult part for me right now 
music, movies, series, audiobooks. Uh, do you have friends that speak English? Mm, just two. I'm, I'm making them help me to practice with my skills because well, I'm practicing with a friend mm -hmm. that it's a Spanish native speaker. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the dude of my work, that is a Canadian native. So I'm trying to practice with them and ask them to correct me if I'm wrong. That's great. <laughs> that, that's great. That, that's the most thing I do to practice because I don't have no one else. You're doing more than many people. Hmm. Yeah, thank Just you. Just like doing that. <laughs> um, a website that I can recommend you is Eagle for You. This, I'm changing Eagle? the topic a little bit here. I'm going to write okay. it down. Ego for, for you. I can't remember the extension, if it's that .org, if it's .com. I can't remember, but Google it. Go to the grammar okay. part and go ahead and check them one by one. It has exercises okay. you, can, you can do. Now, as far as your speaking, Alison, there are some websites. I can't remember the name of it right now. But there are some websites that you log in and you yeah. talk to people around the world. The problem is that those are not so secure websites. And uh, I mean, you might be talking to someone, men or women, that might be disrespectful, that might want to talk about topics that you are not interested. So yeah. um, that's something that I put on the table if you want to try it on. Uh, websites, Google is a good friend. Yeah. Text me and I'm gonna try to try to remember what that website was. It's a little okay. bit risky because you don't know who you're gonna be talking to and where around the world, but you can practice. Okay, yeah, because what I'm doing right now is just practice with these two friends mm -hmm. and listening to music, watching series in English with English subtitles also <laughs> so you can see how they make the sentences yeah you know what the most important thing about learning a language is or what is the objective to communicate and i am able to understand you perfectly uh, whether okay. you make mistakes or not i can understand everything you're saying so from there and on give yourself a little credit because you're doing great the rest is just okay polishing improving so good i like what you're doing live with a smile on your face that you're doing good <laughs> right <Okay. laughs> and all you need is a little bit more of vocabulary and practice that's it keep it up okay thank you so much you're welcome allison have a good one okay. i'll see you tomorrow okay good night good night take care Hey, Celia, what's going on? Hi. <clears throat> Tell me, English speaker that is studying design, what can I do for you? <laughs> um, um, I would like to ask you some tips for improving speaking skills. Easy. Because I'm not confident when I'm speaking. Okay. I think that I I had like like blank spaces in which I don't know how to explain. I have the idea and maybe if, if I write it, I, I mm -hmm. do it well. But when I try to communicate that idea, it's like I forget the words that I write, that I wrote, or mm -hmm. I 
I make time sentences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what do you think I do or now, I should do? Number one, I'm trying to identify if this is a matter of confidence or if it's a matter of English, because those are two different things. Why? I mean, what do you feel when, when, why do you feel that you need to improve this? Uh, do you feel like um, not confident enough in you or in yeah. your, or in your language? I think it is in me because mm -hmm. I'm alone, maybe in front of a mirror uh, or if I'm alone, like making the ideas, like a brainstorming, I can do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do it. But when I'm, I'm speaking in front of someone else that I know that, that has like more confidence, maybe mm -hmm. more knowledge, uh, I feel like, um, I don't know, like, I'm how long, how long have you been studying English? Five years. Every single day? No, to be honest, no. Have you stopped? Yeah, like six months, six months. Okay, so the recommendation that I can give you is the following, Celia. Um, you, <laughs> I can't say this uh, because it's <laughs> not, it's not uh, something very professional to say, uh, but yeah. you don't have to worry about what other people think about your English. Mm -hmm. Why? Because even if they judge, who cares? Yeah. Simple as that. Are they paying for your studies? Are they evaluating you to give you a job based on your English? So who cares? That's number one. Um, I think that you should expose yourself a little bit more because uh, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Definitely. Yeah. Right. It is okay to feel nervous. It happens to me. It happens to everybody. But nervousness is the same emotion as happiness. It's the same. If you're comfortable, if you're confident, you're going to feel happy. But if you don't believe in yourself, if you expect a negative outcome, you're going to feel nervous. Yeah. All right. So first <laughs> of all is your mind. you got to work on your mind, girl. Um, have you heard about neurolinguistical programming? I know. Programación neurolingüística? No. Okay. I so let, let me tell you about it. It's pretty much to <laughs> convince yourself or lie to yourself. Okay. There are a lot of videos. There, there's a TED talk that I like, which is mm -hmm. called, uh, it's like 40 minutes if I'm not mistaken, but it's good. Fake it till you become it. So number one, forget about your English right now. Let's go ahead and work on your confidence. Google yeah. that thing on TED, T-E-D, on YouTube. Those are TED Talks. And uh, there are many, many more. There's What is the name of this, Carlos? Ah, I can remember. But the first thing, girl, is your confidence. Yeah. Okay? Say it to yourself. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. But that I can do it has to go with your effort. If you say I can do it without practicing, it's not gonna work. So what do I recommend you? What I feel is that you have issues with organization of thoughts. Yeah. Okay. That can be either grammar or vocabulary. I think it's vocabulary, most likely, because I've heard you talk. So that's gonna lead you to fluency. Okay. So number one, listen, repeat. Listen, repeat. Listen, repeat. What do you have to do? Listen, repeat. Okay, great. Now, I, I've been saying that I'm going to send you this thing, but real quick, you have to find any audio that you like. Okay, could be one of your favorite songs. Analyze it, read the lyrics, uh, translate it. Okay, now you don't have to translate. Yes, you don't have to translate yeah. everything. But how are you supposed to learn vocabulary if you got nobody else to help you, right? So listen to songs, uh, watch movies, 
learn English with movies, enter YouTube. And there's another one called, copy this real quick, ESL-Lab. ESL-Lab. And do you know why I am, I feel that this is a, this, this is affecting me more than I want? Because, because I'm on the right, on the graduator from the minor. It could be because you don't feel yourself capable. Yeah. The, the minute that you start seeing results, then you're going to start to feel confident about it. Do not expect perfection, Celia. Because if you expect to be perfect, then, uh, hey, we are never going to be perfect in English. I've been working with English for the past, what, 15 years of my life, perhaps? Or 13. And I still make mistakes. I've taught for more than 12 hours a day, for eight days in a row, for months in a row. I've been working in call centers. I worked in the call center industries for five years five having two jobs and i am still not perfect so hey mistakes are okay believe in yourself but you got a, you got a lot of work to do um i know that this is very vague así como muy vago very general i would like to know more about your thing if you want let's go ahead and and have another chat you can text me i can give you advice because I know what it feels like, Celia. I know what yeah. it feels like learning from scratch. I've never gone to the United States. It's not my intention to go, right? So everything I know, I have done it here. If I could do it, you can do it. But hey, I spent hours sitting here, learning, working, watching videos, reading about grammar, and I am already a teacher. Okay, so yeah. I'm pretty sure you can do it, but just make sure you do it, do it, do it. Whenever you start seeing, oh, I understand, that smile is going to give you <laughs> confidence, right? Yeah. Re regresate a simple presence si es necesario y dominalo. Okay, ¿Qué, ¿qué tipo de preguntas? Ask yourself in the mirror, um, talk to people. You got to look for people to practice with. You have yeah. to expose yourself and do it. Please try uh, try that website that I gave you. Text me today if you want. Are, are you gonna go to bed right now? Um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna send you something perhaps tomorrow, so I don't wake you up. And I want you to try it for a week, and then you tell me the results. Okay. Okay. You can do it, Celia. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks. Keep up. Keep it up. So. Keep it already finished. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I mean, if nobody comes, you can stay. Or I still have 10.50, but you're going to sleep right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit tired. Yeah. Hey, um, that thing that I tell you, that link, go to the bottom. It has audios. Play the audio. Go to the first one. Beginner is a day at school. Play mm -hmm. the audio. Answer the questions. Just play it once, test your comprehension. Then look for a little button that says script or something about script because they updated the website. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you're gonna be able to play the audio and read, okay? So play, answer, then play and read. Then play, pause, you repeat exactly as it sounds as many times as necessary. With a two minute audio, you can practice for an hour easily. So play, pause, repeat. Print it, play, pause, repeat. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now Joshua, what time do you go to school? That's exactly what you're gonna hear. So then record yourself and compare your audio with that. You're going to do it so much, girl, that your English is going to improve tremendously, I promise. Okay. Okay? I'm going to do it. Okay. Very good. So, um, see you tomorrow. Thank you for asking me those questions. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Hi. Hey, what's going on, Karen? Uh, good. I'm so sorry. I, I had problems with my internet, so I couldn't finish the, the interview. Yeah. So no worries. I, I figured. I figured you were having issues, but immediately Gladys took over. So okay. She was a good backup. Thank you for helping the group with your tips, Karen. Okay. All right. Tell me, what can I do for you tonight? Uh, you know, I I need to improve my English, but in my in my career, mm. you know, uh, I've been applying for uh, for two jobs, and I have the. Uh, I didn't have the opportunity to get hired because mm -hmm. of my English. All right. Uh, I need to be more more fluently, but uh, more fluent. More fluent. So mm -hmm. I, I I need to improve in in in, uh, in this uh, area. I don't know what to do. Uh, you know, I I really enjoyed your class because mm -hmm. I have the opportunity to to write to write some questions mm -hmm. about uh, about interviewing. Mm -hmm. But I need more. I don't know what to do. Okay. Well, in in this case, mm -hmm. Karen, um, number one, let me tell you that your English is good. You have a solid base, like many, many uh, members of the group. I don't really find it like that many mistakes in you. Sometimes, like for example, instead of fluently is fluent, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I think that vocabulary can help you a little bit. But before that, in these six minutes, um, tell me, what are you doing to improve your English? I'm trying to read. How often? Uh, uh, for example, right now I am reading a book, an, e uh, an, an English book, mm -hmm. uh, How a Starbucks Changed My Life. This is the name of the book. Okay. Uh, and I'm trying to, to read more. And I am, tr I am trying to listen to, uh, for example, BBC or uh, I don't know what is the other channel in English, but I, I put the closed caption, but in English too. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what else can, can do. Okay, let's go ahead and let me give you some advice though. First of all, you got to change something. I am trying. Don't try, do it. Mm -hmm. Simple, no excuses. How, how, how many hours do you read? How many hours do you practice uh, listening and how often? Uh, every day. I try to read at least uh, 45 minutes before, uh, before I go to sleep. And I'm um, watching TV program maybe uh, an hour every day. Okay. All right. About your reading. Try to read things related to your job, vocabulary related to your job. So mm -hmm. look for, perhaps it's not like a book that tells you about- uh -huh, No, no, I don't like it. Like for studying, right? But uh -huh. try to look for books related to your job and watch videos related to your job. That's number one, because the first thing you told me is that you were not able to get a job because of your English. Yes. Okay, so number one is vocabulary that you are going to use. I had a student that was reading the Bible in English, which is not a bad idea, but there's a lot of vocabulary that doesn't even exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got to be objective. Number two, um, you're practicing, you're listening, watch videos about that. And I want to know what was the feedback from those uh, job applications? What did they tell you? Uh, my, my, my reading was good mm -hmm. and my, uh, my writing too, okay. but my conversation, no. Good. I, I think because I got nervous because there, there were three people, uh, asking me many questions, uh, and, 
and I got nervous, you know, I do mm -hmm. every day the same thing, but in the other way, I am the interviewer. <laughs> yes. so. It happens, it happens. Uh -huh. So if your rating is good and if your writing is good, stop rating. Scratch everything I told you, stop reading. Don't read anymore because right now you have that covered. Practice on your conversation skills. Now, I give this advice to everybody and you know what? I think I'm, the thing, I haven't had the time, but I'm going to record a video explaining how to improve this because you gotta listen and repeat. What is your favorite mm. movie? Mm, I have a lot. I, I, I enjoy uh, romantic movies, you know? I, I really okay. like to cry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so um, what I recommend you to do is this. How does a kid, a child, learns by repetition? Obviously, it takes like seven years because a six-year-old doesn't speak correctly. Seven-year-old, they are improving. Eight years old, there you go. So if they tell you, you got to learn like a native, I mean, that's a lie. You don't have eight years to do it. So look for your favorite movie that you have seen many, many times. Do it in English. And I want you to try to repeat the dialogues. Okay. Okay. You got you to gotta do a lot of repetition, a lot of repetition. Your conversation skills are good. Try to get out of your comfort zone more often. Ask a friend who speaks English that you trust. Hey, can we practice? My kids, uh, they, they, they text on text find someone who talk to listen I, I cannot give you more information about this but um, because I'm not sure but you gotta find a place that has a conversation club that too obviously mm -hmm. not all of the, uh, the of the things are open right now but keep these classes because these classes if you see there's vocabulary that they are not gonna teach you in an academy there are experiences uh -huh. that you're not going to live in an academy. So the program is good, right? Yeah. But you have to expose yourself and talk to more people. Talk to more people. Okay. Talk to more people. You're good reading? Don't read anymore. You got to conversate. Mm -hmm. Play, pause, repeat. Music, videos, phrases, audiobooks. Change from reading to audiobooks. Ah, from audiobooks. That's a good idea. So keep rocking it, girl. And uh, if I could give you more advice, um, I will. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're doing a great job. Thank you for the uh, recommendations today. And like I said, if you're doing something good, then change. Yes. Reinf reinforce the other areas. Get out of your comfort zone. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Karen. Have a very good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. You too. Bye-bye. teacher hey what's up girl how's it going um uh, near to sleep <laughs> i was falling asleep <laughs> you too i guess no, I figured. Yeah. Uh, but, not really i'm i'm used to staying up late really yeah but, but you, at six or seven a.m so i am used to it. you're not going to sleep 
to wake up early tomorrow? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Mm. But when <laughs> so, when we have when you're uh -huh. going to have children, that's going to change. I don't know why, but it's change. I remember that I can did that that yeah uh, before and now and not now. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. teacher. Uh, I guess the the only question that well I have many questions, but in this case, good. Uh, I have one question. Uh, what is the unit that we we need to work in this moment? Because I'm on the on the three point five. Let me see. Where we are right now. When? I sorry. I have good that. I guess that is the three point six. The I don't know what they're going to do, or or if oh, I. Um, but wait, um, three point six is a class. Tag questions. It's no, not no, homework. No. Is the three point seven? Yes, it's three point seven. Add the question okay. tag to the following statements. You want? Are you, fam to go are you on familiarized on with uh, question tags? Because that's tomorrow's topic. That topic is kind of interesting, though. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> this is tomorrow's topic. So um, let me uh, give you a hint. Okay, thank you. Um, with questions that with question tags, it's like saying, "Bea." Ah. And no, uh, hey. Te gusta, Bea. Uh huh. Bea. So pretty much what we do is that we keep a perfect balance between affirmative sentences and negative sentences, using uh, the auxiliary. For example, mm -hmm. um, you like soccer, okay. don't okay. you? So you like soccer as affirmative, simple present, mm -hmm. and then we use the auxiliary, don't you? Mm -hmm. Does that That's change? It. He is happy. Uh, isn't he? Don't he? Uh, isn't, isn't he? Because I am using instant. Uh, okay. Yes, it's our. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Then you go, for example, um, he will. Charlie will uh -huh. help us. As Charles will. will Want he? Want? Mm -hmm. So the oh, trick okay. on this one is that, but, but like I said, don't worry, this is a quick tip because I'm going to explain it tomorrow. All right, so okay, it's no, affirmative, no, thank you. the auxiliary opposite, right? If it's affirmative, the auxiliary is negative. If the sentence is uh, negative, the auxiliary is the auxiliary is positive. Mm -hmm. So, oh, for example, okay. he will go to the party. Mm -hmm. One he. Yes. One. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we use we got will in negative and the same subject. Okay. Always using the auxiliary. I am happy. Auxiliary, mm -hmm. am I not? I'm not. Am I not? So if it is. not. Okay. Oh no. Right, like talking to. Oh no. Mm -hmm. uh, you must. You must say yes. <laughs> yep. You must say yes. It is mutual. It's must. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Now, um, I know you have a lot of questions, but something that I, that I wanted to give it a try is say versus tell. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. say is, um, for example, he told me, right? Um, he said to me, those are the two mm -hmm. different things. So, for example, okay. she told me, I will tell him, I told Maria, I didn't tell, and then you go directly to the person, in this case, the object. Okay. Right? So, how do you say, uh, él me dijo? He told me? Or, he said to me. So, if you're using he say... He said to me. Uh -huh. Ah, if you're using this say, is the difference. Yeah, 
That's right. Si tú ocupas se, tu. se necesitas el tú. Tú. Correct. Mm. So work this on that because here. you use it very often and, and this yes. is something that we can use. Yes. Yes. Another thing? Oh, I'm going to have to think of that. In the meantime, ask me a question. <laughs> no, just take your time and just ah. if you can write your, all, all my all my mistakes. <laughs> I can't remember them all, but something that I can see <laughs> is can two. Can two. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing. I, I I think it's you. I can't to do it. I can do it. I can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are adding the two with the modal verbs. And the only ones that they use to is have to, uh, out to, with models is have to, out to, um, I can remember, Alderman. This is not a model, but prefer, sorry, prefer to, one to, other than that, the others, they do not use uh, two. Should is. Aha, uh -huh. should does not use two. Should and all of the other ones go directly to the verb. So you should sleep. <laughs> you should sleep. Yes, please, I should. <laughs> you must practice. Yes, I right? must. So no two in between the model and the verb. I, I guess that is going to just quit. No, that must it is the only. Que must era el único que no tenía que llevar tú. Ahora ya que me explico, mejor. Prácticamente, Sara, es son eh, especiales los que llevan el tú. Y son poquitos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, este, mm -hmm. like I said, no I, lo sabía. I don't have the model at the top of my head. Pero have to, out to, de los modales, son los que me acuerdo ahorita. Tendré que ver la lista. Para todos los demás, la gran mayoría, no ocupas to. Out ocupas a directamente el verbo. Out quality. Out to is like should. Casi la misma cosa que should. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Out. Mm -hmm. Y también have to, que es como que tienes que. Es como must. Uh -huh. Have to y must. Yes. Entonces quizás ahí viene la confusión, que tú tienes have to. Y luego tenés must. Uh -huh. Y le pasas el tú al uh -huh. chero, eh. al brother. Ahí a el... todos le pongo tú, hasta el chul tú. Uh -huh. Entonces eso, <risa> ya le voy a quitar haces? todos los tú tú. Hacete un par de ejemplos de cada uno. Diez ejemplos de cada uno y uh -huh. separarlos. Estos son los que van con, con tú. Los escribís. Estos es tú tú y esos no tú tú. No. <risa> como el, exa como el, el anuncio para todo lo demás, existe uh -huh. Mastercard. Sí. Right? Sí, Para todos sí, los demás sí, sí. modal verbs, ya no lo ocupan. Así que wait. eso, Bye. el tell versus say, I don't know if there's any other question you have. I still have nine minutes. Okay, no, we have, yes. No, I just say, say you. <laughs> I just want to say you. One, two. Say no. you. Solo te quiero decir, what I, are the two options to say that? Say you. Okay. Say you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Y Thank que el say no llevaba you. two. Yes. Démosle. Entonces, I just say want... Say to you. To uh -huh. say. Say to you. Or I say. just want to tell you. Esas son las dos. Oh. Say to you or tell you. To you. Uh, just let me screenshot. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. Try, yep. try to rest when you uh, can. <laughs> I'll do my best. A man's gotta do okay. what a man's gotta do, what a man's gotta do it. Yes, please. Take care, <laughs> right, you so teacher. Thanks to you for always being the first volunteer. Thanks to you um, for your <laughs> happiness that you bring to the class. Thanks to you oh, for okay. the joy. And uh, I like the energy that you transmit to the group. So oh. keep it up. That's a very good attitude. It's going to take oh. you far.
Okay. Night night and sleep tight. All right. See you later. <laughs> nice one. I liked it. Have a good night, Sarah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, amigo.